Hello guys and welcome back to Cellum Tutorials. My name is Ahmed. In that video, I'm continuing the installation of Google Voice with FreePBX in Asterisk 13. Well, I have two previous videos about the installation of FreePBX 12 with Asterisk 13. I have already covered the installation and we successfully um, installed and make sure that FreePBX is working like a charm, right? So in that video, I'm gonna cover the Google Voice um, modules. So this is my <coughs> FreePBX, right? So this is a fresh FreePBX. As you see, we, we don't have much applications because we, we haven't installed it yet, right? So it is recommended that we follow the commercial modules this, are the, this is the repo, repository. Shmo is commercial. This is mandatory if you want to have the sysadmin module. If we get back to the server, we will not find the sysadmin module, which is not installed. So I can say that those are mandatory. The PHP 5.3, ZenGuard loader, sysadmin, fail to ban, II image magic. So those are mandatory when you go to module admin right and if you want to install the required google voice feature like motif i think it will ask you about more dependencies which are not installed yet So I'm gonna search. And here we go. This is the Google Voice Chan Motif, right? So I think if we try to install like that, look, Google Voice will install and switch it to stable. Let's confirm. All right, that worked, but I think other other modules like maybe I Symphony, I think, will not be working and it will be having the dependencies. So we have the application which is called Announcement. We maybe need QU as well. QU. We need a QU. Then process. And return. Anyway, those are mandatory for specific modules, right? Also, I don't have the sysadmin module. If I go here, there is no sysadmin module, which is for the security, fail to ban, VBN, uh, inspection module, packet inspection module, and so on, right? I, I even cannot change the time on the server because the sysadmin module is not already installed. So first of all, I would like to install the Schmooze commercial package. Then yum clean all. Then we installed the RPMs. Again, if you have any problem in this setup, you can revise the old videos, free PBX part 1 and part 2. 
on my YouTube channel seldomtutorials.com. Right, so let's change to the terminal and install the sysadmin module. I think we are done. Let's get back, refresh, apply config, and here we go. We have the sysadmin system admin system yeah I'm gonna activate complete well we have the admin right there here the setting activation setting and we have the DNS setting this is the intrusion detection which is the fail to ban Right, so fail to ban in the GUI, it's called intrusion detection, and here we can find that how many trials will the system uh, will wait until it plug the IB. So say that somebody is trying to register with that server, right, and he tried many times with wrong password then the intrusion detection is going to consider this as a, some kind of hack or attack right so here is the the setting on what time should i wait as a system before i block the ip right here we have the network setting here we have the host name mm, here is the time zone if we want to change the time storage here are the statistics of the storage hard disk so right now we have the sysadmin module installed and we have the google voice module installed successfully without any problems right so as we see this is the motive module we here put the gmail address then the password address, then the phone number, which is going to be from the United States, must be US number. And this is an option to add this as a trunk, so that you find it in the trunks. And it's going to be easy for you when you create outbound routes to select the Google Voice trunk. Um, also, we can add this as well to be automatically for the outbound routes. So in a string that starts with one, uh, should be directed to that trunk anyway but we can customize that later right and this is an option to send an unanswered message to the Google Voice mail itself 
right so this is an option and we're gonna hit submit once we do that we should have the status to be uh, connected in green in the button so I'm not gonna cover the setting of uh, Google uh, account in this video I'm gonna set, I'm gonna cover that later in another video so uh, what have we done in that video we just installed the system admin module right with that module we were able to use fail to ban VPN firewall protection Intrusion, intrusion detection we can change host name we can um, also change the time on the server right so that in a nutshell uh, I'm gonna cover the Google Voice in another video in the end I hope this video has been informative for you thank you for viewing in the end if you like the video don't forget to subscribe the channel like the video and leave me a great comment thank you so much have a, have a good day